This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by McGee Fence. Show of hands, are you a dog owner? Now, if you're one of us, you already know firsthand how crucial it is that Spot gets outside during the day. But you'd be making enemies in your neighborhood real fast if you just let them run free in the yard. Yeah, a fence fixes that problem. And Jason McGee has been in the fence field for decades. He's the owner of McGee Fence, and you'll see his work outside homes all over the peninsula and even beyond. Delmarva Life's Katie Zarelli tells us more. Protectors of property, barriers of boundary. Nothing finishes a home sweet home like a perfect polished fence. Good fences make good neighbors. And Jason McGee's been generating good neighbors for decades. He began McGee Fence in 2007, having worked for a different company for 15 years before that. It's funny because people used to say, when are you going to start your own business? And I never even really thought about it. And then one day I said, well, why not give it a try? And much like the construction of a fence itself, the business started small and gradually became big. I started with one job and you put a sign on the fence or a sign in the yard. And uh, from that point, started picking up business and little by little started with me and then one crew and then two crew. And, you know, now we have, you know, eight to nine crews running every day. Last year alone, they put up around 2,000 fences of all different kinds. There are so many variations of so many different styles, but the main four are wood, vinyl, chain link, and aluminum. Those are the ones that we do pretty much. There's variations of all those four styles. As far as which is the most popular? These days, vinyl. Yeah. And then second would probably be aluminum, and then wood, and then chain link. Chain link's kind of what everyone used to do, and things have kind of shifted throughout the years. And Jason, we're here at your home in Berlin, and you obviously have a McGee fence. Yes, of course. So what, what style do you go for with yours? Dog ear picket. And what does that mean? White vinyl dog ear. The shape of the picket on top. Oh. So it has the edges cut out of it. There is another style that you can do that's kind of pointed at the top, more pointed. Gotcha. We, we, we decided on this yeah. style. And you were saying that uh, it was very important that you do a fence for your dog. Yes. Right? You now we have an English Bulldog mm -hmm. and she's not a runner. <laughs> so we had to do a smaller area for her. Gotcha. And how does she feel about the fence? She loves it. Yeah. She likes to be able to just come out here and sit in the middle of the yard. I love that. <laughs> the process to get something like this in place is painless. It starts with a visit and a free estimate. Typically, I would show up to your house, you know, knock on the door, and then uh, invite you outside to kind of walk outside and just kind of get a feel for what you're looking to do at the house. Mm -hmm. um, then at, at that point, I would kind of suggest styles based off of what you're looking to do. They'll also then measure and give you an estimate that day. If you're all in, they'll then get you on the schedule. When it comes to construction time, Jason asks homeowners to be present, at least at first. We typically like the homeowner to be there the first day we do the job, mm -hmm. just to kind of go over everything with the crew. Crew shows up, they'll introduce themselves and walk the, the job with the customer, mm -hmm. just to make sure that we're all on the same page. And you go to work after you meet with us and then you come back and the fence is up. And many times at that moment, homeowners experience epiphanies of sorts. It's funny how when people do fences, They'll say, I never realized my yard was either this big or it would look like this or we, why didn't we do this years ago? They do decks, too. And FYI, don't try to make this a DIY. Yeah, people have tried. He says, um, can you get me the parts and pieces? I have a repair that I'd like to do and I want to try to do it myself. And I said, yeah, I told him what it was and he took him three times to try to find those parts and pieces. Then he calls me back and says, how about you just do it? I mean, when you see what he and his crews can do, you'll want them to anyway. Though they're in the business of building borders, there's no limit to this enterprise's expansion. I let the business grow as it grows. Because the problem is you try to make it grow too fast, you have too many problems. So I let the business dictate how fast we grow. It's funny, I had one of my guys say, oh, you're trying to grow the business. I said, you, you guys are doing just too good of a job. <laughs>
And that good job is making for better neighbors everywhere. And Jason says the process for getting a deck is very similar to that of getting a fence. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah.